Let's get down to business. So in the spirit of Silent Hill returning, I would like to discuss Silent Hill 2006, which is the first movie that Silent Hill ever got. And in my opinion, it is the best video game adaptation second to none. This movie had the most in common with its video game counterpart than any video game movie ever made. You think I'm lying? Please name me one. Please name me one. The Sonic movie, I gave grace, but I've come to realize that it's just not it because why are there these humans? Like, we don't have humans around Sonic. Live action humans. It's just a bunch of people. Just like the Mario, it'd be one thing if I guess if Mario people were all animals and stuff, it would make more sense. But it's just like having the Mario movie and then a bunch of humans around or different types of creatures that look like the real life creature, like a real life dog next to like animals that are animated. Think who framed Roger Rabbit, Space Jam type of nonsense. Type of nonsense. Before I talk about the actual movie itself, I would like to discuss the problems, the reason why people didn't like it. So the first problem, why was Sean Bean even cast in this movie? That is a good old bait and switch that they did. Like, imagine you Sean Bean, right? Seen Bean, Mr. Seen Bean. Imagine you Sean Bean, and then you get hired for a role, and then you do like nothing, and you like literally separate from even the people. I think that was hilarious. That was crazy. I think that was like the the worst. Like, who was it worse for? The people who expected to see Sean Bean in this movie, or Sean Bean himself sitting there like, wait a minute, oh, wait a second. When you start watching the movie, you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, where my scenes at? Oh, wait, here they are, separate from everybody else in the cast. Hilarious. Hilarious. And in the second movie that they made, Silent Hill Revelations, they kill my boy off. My boy. Bro, one does not simply hire Sean Bean to die. Wait, yes, you do, but guess what? It's funny because he doesn't die in the first movie. He don't die. Spoiler boiler. He don't die. He just not there. (laughs) He just like bait and switch. They hired Sean Bean. They promoted the movie like Sean Bean was going to be in the movie. And then he was really not in the movie. And that's one reason why people like made it seem like it was the worst thing in the world when it's not that big of a deal. I left the movie thinking, okay, this is cool. This is pretty cool compared to everything we've ever gotten ever. Yes, this is pretty cool. And you can say that without being butthurt. The second thing is why was a woman cast for the main character. They switched the male protagonist for a woman and that made people mad. I didn't mind because the main antagonist was a woman. In Silent Hill, the video game, the antagonist was the world. So most of the appeal Silent Hill has is the difficulty, suspense, survival, horror. Now, some of those things that people like about Silent Hill can transfer easily to the silver screen and some do not. So it's like, how do you apply difficulty to a movie? Here's an example. Welcome to Raccoon City was one of the worst video game adaptations ever created. You can't just put the setting in the title, put characters that you name the characters from the games in your movie and expect that everything will just fall into place. You actually have to know what you're doing. You have to actually know the story and you have to actually know the personalities of these characters. You can't just name them Claire, Chris, and Wesker and expect them to just become those people. They have to actually know who they are. The director has to actually know who they are. The writer has to actually know who he's writing. And I think it's really interesting because there's so much that they can do. It is really, really easy. It's harder to make a Sonic movie. It's harder to make a Mario movie because things look crazy. Resident Evil and Silent Hill look virtually like the real world. There are some creatures and aspects like hunters and freaking creatures that look really fleshy. But above all, the main characters are regular people. It shouldn't be this difficult. However, I was 100% fine with Welcome to Raccoon City not having like puzzles or stuff for them to solve because it's not a video game why would there be puzzles in a movie 
But like I said, most of the appeal from Silent Hill comes from the difficulty, limited weapons, and challenging plot to follow. I understand following a mom and not a dad from a movie audience perspective because it's been overdone. But like I said before, Sean Bean being cast seemed like a good old bait and switch to get people to watch the movie when there were a lot of people interested in watching this movie who did not need Sean Bean to be a part of this. The mom is named Rose and the dad is named Christopher Da Silva. Now, I'm not as knowledgeable about Silent Hill or of Silent Hill's lore as I am about Resident Evil, but I will try my best to get this right. If I make a mistake, please correct me in the comments. Tell me what you think in the comments. We can have a conversation. The town of Silent Hill is seen as a purgatorial cursed town. Silent Hill has multiple backstories from one cult origin to another cult, but I will just talk about each game then I'll talk about where the first movie fits in with these games. So the first game is Silent Hill 1, 1999. It follows a man named Harry Mason who gets stuck after a car mishap and his adoptive daughter Cheryl goes missing. He searches but finds fleshy, oddly shaped monsters. This game looks like trash and needs to be remastered before anyone takes it seriously today. When people talk about Silent Hill, they really mean Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. Speaking of Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 2 is kind of where the movie leans on, but also some aspects from Silent Hill 1. But it's because it's the one that everybody recognizes as Silent Hill. Nobody says, oh my goodness, let's, I love Silent Hill 1 with Harry Mason. It's so cool because it looks ugly. But Silent Hill 2 looks a lot less ugly, especially in comparison of the two. So Silent Hill 2, 2001, like I said, looks a lot better being on PlayStation 2. This sorry sack of sucker, James Sunderland, goes on a search for his missing wife in Silent Hill, where we meet the franchise's mascot, Pyramid Head, who originally represented James's guilt for brutalizing his wife, but became more of a boogeyman as the series progressed. I personally have a theory that James Sunderland has always been a part of Silent Hill. Like, I think he's still Pyramid Head. Anytime we see him, I think that is James himself. But that's just my theory. Because this game is yards better in terms of storytelling graphics and voice acting more people know about this game slash understand the story better plus care about that game more honestly the next game is silent hill 3 2003 it did what all game slash movie slash series do in the midst of success so they sought to capitalize on the success by centering the story on a girl, which worked as it's the second, only second to Silent Hill as one of the best horror games created. Heather Mason is the daughter from Silent Hill 1, but the town latched onto her and the cult of the town sought to collect the essence from her, basically. Just think about this. If Silent Hill 2 has the most memorable story, Silent Hill 3 has the most memorable main protagonist. Heather is far more famous than Harry or James, but it might be because her game is more recent. Her voice actress actually tried, like she's better, you know, stuff like that. The second movie that they created, which is basically like the sequel to the first movie that I'm going to talk about later, is based on Silent Hill 3 and you know why they did that? Because like I said, no one really takes Silent Hill 1 seriously looking the way it do. Like, look at it. Like, it looks like garbage sin dipped in misery. Please, please tell me you don't want a remake. Like, I think it's really interesting. People love to jump down my throat about remakes. Literally, out of nowhere, it was crazy. I was just like saying something. I was like, yeah, I heard that they were making a remake and some dude jumped down. I'm like, are you serious? Wow. I didn't think you took this that seriously. But that also happened on Twitter too. I was like, yeah, it'd be cool if it got remade. And they're like, oh, take that back right now. I'm like, excuse me? Like, excuse me? Are you serious? You want me to take back my opinion? It hurts you so much? Whatever. I'm done talking about Silent Hill 3. The next one is Silent Hill 4, The Room. 
I think it was made in 2004. This one is my absolute favorite story. Dude, someone kills somebody with a soup spoon, bruh. Like, how how is that not hilarious? How is that not hilarious to you? But it's my favorite game, despite it being a poorly written script. It's really poor. Horrible. Like, I'm telling you, the worst script imaginable. They didn't know what to do with some characters. It looks really bad. It's just really horrible. Literally, there's like a side character that dies in your arms and you're supposed to feel sorry even though you just met her. But literally, play this game. I know I talk crap about it because you have to. When it's that bad, you just have to. You cannot like lie and be like, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. Like some of y'all do. Some of y'all be sitting there talking about how great something is when you know it's trash. You know it's garbage and you still be sucking it up like stop but silent hill 4 is my favorite in the franchise um because it's so funny it's so freaking hilarious um literally you you hit something it blo- like it's what what are you talking about some people will be like what I will say to Silent Hill fans is y'all know how to pull something directly out of your behind. Directly, like straight at it, like no, no nothing, no lubricant. You take it straight out of your behind and you're like, wow, this is exactly what this is. So some people be like, oh, the certain noises you hear, it's like body horror type situation. And yeah, that kind of makes sense with how Silent Hill is because it's fleshy. It's like bloody it's a certain type of way in my opinion if the game wasn't so hard to follow and so hard to complete and get a good ending and not make you feel so sorry about yourself and sadness and misery i think that people would have liked it better than resident evil from a long time ago that's the only reason why people are like resident evil's better and because you have more of control you have more control of your life in resident evil if you run out of bullets that's on you there were bullets provided there was a gun provided but in the baseline of silent hill guns are not what saves you it's being smart it's finding routes that are less likely to get you killed there's barely, like, you have to heal a certain, a different type of way. You can't just pick up an herb and be good. While Resident Evil has its own difficulties and problems and obstacles, Silent Hill is a lot more depressing and it's harder for you to navigate the world and it's a little harder for you to follow the story than a kind of shortcut to the point resident evil but like i said silent hill 4 is really good the room is my favorite i really don't know why i'm so close to the room i think it's kind of like 1408 type of situation with john cusack and samuel l jackson that was one of my favorite horror movies i guess you could call it a horror movie because it's like kind of scary but it's it's more suspenseful i don't know a lot of people get those mixed up silent hill 4 is very unserious very unscary enemies Like I said, take this story seriously, but like the gameplay is so unserious. It's literally hilarious. If you scare easy and you want to get into Silent Hill, this is the game that you get into. You don't necessarily have to play one through three to play four because like I said, it's kind of like an anthology where you follow different people. And yes, it may intertwine sometimes like American Horror Story, but you do not have to all watch murder house to understand what happened in asylum there's just certain foundations that were created like ghosts can be in a certain place if they die somewhere or whatever that's basically how silent hill goes and relating it back to murder house and the ghosts it kind of is how it is in silent hill 4 that's really interesting but literally if not for the grace of dedicated fans of silent hill which i cannot say i am because i don't know as much as i do about resident evil they've created a decent timeline on youtube you know i might do one but i'm not going to do one right now this second silent hill origins is the game that i know the least about but i'm just going to say that origins came out in 2007 that would be the next game supposedly origins is a prequel to the very first game and it basically tells the story of what happens before harry comes to silent hill i guess what i do know about this game is that in order to get the like the good ending for origins you have to have i guess a save of the first game and you have to have played it which is really cool i i kind of like that i kind of like how screwed you are if you don't play games 
but don't know nothing about origins. So if you know about origins, please talk about it in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Silent Hill Homecoming is, I think, 2007. The dude's name is Alex Shepard. And just to let you know, I know a little bit more about this than I even care to even put in my brain about Downpour. So I'll at least give you what I know. Alex Shepard is like this dude who was a part of some families that were a cult. Like I said, there are many cult story, backstory things that I don't know which one's canon or if they're all canon, but each cult does something. And this particular cult, like they sacrifice people for crops or something ridiculous. And I think long story short, he was supposed to be the sacrifice, but he killed his brother. And I think it's super hilarious. It didn't used to be hilarious. This didn't used to be hilarious. Even though the first game looks like pixelated garbage, I'm pretty sure people still felt like interested in what happened. No one's going to take that seriously now. And we can just talk about two and three, but two and three are not hilariously comical. There are some comical moments like with the dude with the pizza and stuff, but it's supposed to be eerie. It's supposed to be eerie. This place is supposed to be eerie. That's why there's smoke. I mean, technically it's smoke, but that's why there's fog. That's why a lot of the enemies don't have distinct features in their face because we want to look at a face and try to put something there. And that's what makes our brains like, okay, wait a minute, there's nothing there. We can't say there's like, that is the thing that made Silent Hill really good, in my opinion, along with the very interesting, lore rich story. And this game, uh, Homecoming, a lot of people say is the worst, but I still stand 10 toes that Downpour does not belong in the Silent Hill franchise at all under any circumstances. At all. At freaking the freak all. At least Alex Shepard is connected to a cult that's connected to this, that's connected to that. Stupid whatever his name is, I don't remember and I played the game. I don't remember and I played the game. That's how disgusting, that's how disgusting Downpour is, bruh. Come on. But honestly, like I said, majority of the fans be like, oh, homecoming is garbage. So. And that's fine. That's fine. I don't think it's reason enough for me to be like, yeah, throw this in the garbage. You don't have to play it because it's, it's basically technically a side game because they don't call it Silent Hill 5 or 6. They don't call it that. They just call it homecoming because it kind of doesn't fit in the in the narrative going down because at least Silent Hill 1 was like, okay, Cheryl, and then turn to Heather Mason for, for three, and then two could do that, and then four had the killer that was also connected to the cult that was also connected to this. You know what I mean? That works. Even Origins was given the title Zero in Japan, which I love. I love when a prequel is Zero, like Resident Evil Zero, one of my favorite Resident Evils. If you want to see me do a playthrough, it's incomplete because it's the hardest game, the hardest Resident Evil game to ever play, literally. It's it's really difficult because the enemies are really strong. It's an older game, so they actually cared about like difficulty. Nowadays, it's not difficult. I breezed through Village. I breezed through Seven. It's really not difficult anymore. Even the remakes aren't even that difficult. If you want to see my playthrough and if you want more from that playthrough, please comment let me know what you want from these playthroughs i'm currently playing dragon age inquisition but i'm going to be playing another game soon keep posted keep updated navigate my playthrough playlists they're easy to navigate they're very neat but back to the topic downpour who's connected to what this just some loser it's just some cop story oh he was corrupt the biggest loser idiot scumbag that looks dirty and garbage is a dirty cop gasp you have this vendetta against this person and you keep following them and then at the end of the story you learn that that person killed somebody you know and love gasp twice but what i will say is downpour had to have an impact on capcom because there's a certain aspect of downpour that i'm not gonna say here because if you want to know my opinion about capcom and thievery i have an actual video about that i really do inspiration or plagiarism link is in the description to my playlist please navigate it it's very easy to navigate i hope you enjoy that video 
But there is an aspect in downpour that is interesting because it came, it came before Resident Evil 7. And they kind of use the same thing where there's a certain thing, there's a certain creature that kind of follows you in a little, and I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it, okay? Y'all just got to look it up yourself and be like, oh, oh, oh. Like I always do. Capcom has no new ideas. They don't. They don't. Stop lying. Stop trying to save them. Stop it. But I really do think that Downpour was the reason Silent Hill fell out of public popularity. So the next game, Silent Hill Downpour. 2012. What a year. Bruh. Always read the description. Always read the description. I put if I made a mistake or whatever. I address things and whatnot. And it tells you what the video is going to be about. If there's any spoilers. So you're not spoiled. So Silent Hill Downpour, just like all the other games that don't have numbers associated with them, did what Capcom couldn't when they wanted to make a side story. They didn't just call it Silent Hill 5 when they made this garbage. This is th- this was the beginning of the end. This was what killed Silent Hill. This was. If anyone tells you differently, they are in denial. Silent Hill Downpour is where it fell apart. Silent Hill 4 may have been horrible, bad, and garbage, but it's connect it looks better compared to the first 3 games. It looks like it's in the same universe. Silent Hill Downpour looks like it's from a different game. It looks like it's from a different franchise on a different planet. Please. And don't tell me it's because, oh, the graphics are better. That's why you say that. No. No. It doesn't even have the same type of mechanics. It doesn't even have the same point of view. Like, it's not first person, but it's third person over the shoulder. While the other Silent Hill games seem more like, I don't know. The first Silent Hill game looked gross. The second Silent Hill game had like kind of different camera angles. It worked with camera angles a lot. And the third one, I would say, I think did. And the fourth one, it was more like you had free roam. I don't know if that's how you how you say that specifically, a free roaming camera. Resident Evil 7 is what happens when you run out of ideas and you have too much money on your hands and you don't know what you're doing. But they didn't just call this crap a Silent Hill 5. They put on a side title and moved on like Resident Evil 4 should have done. I'm only going to say this here. If you want to know my opinion about Resident Evil 4, link is in the description to my Resident Evil playlist. You can navigate it and you can find where it says Resident Evil 4. And anything about Leon S. Kennedy, I will be talking about Resident Evil 4 because I think that Resident Evil 4 does not stand in line with any of the Resident Evils at all. Not even compared to 5, it doesn't connect to me in personal opinion. I feel like Code Veronica actually serves better to be 4, even though it's supposed to be 3. But I do not take away from Jill Valentine because Jill Valentine is GOAT. Anywho, this side game called Silent Hill Downpour was the one i played and it sucks it sucks terribly it 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 sucks worse than how i look at silent hill 4 silent hill 4 at least fits in silent hills themes silent hill downpour is just a different game entirely i literally forgot the dude's name and downpour it, it's so unimportant the side characters are so like poorly written and the twist ending you can totally see it coming and not to say that just because you see a twist ending coming is bad but like where is the mystery where is the like held yourself accountable for whatever it's that aspect is still there i have to admit but it's just not as (gasps) as harry harry's story or james's story or even heather's story when you first play it because once you know what heather's story is about you kind of don't gasp anymore but downpour sucks it's garbage please don't play it i i really suggest you never playing it It, whoever made silent hill downpour should really be ashamed but i'm so glad that they didn't call it silent hill 5 and i'm kind of glad that they didn't put another woman protagonist in this game because everyone would have said it was 10 billion times worse and everybody would collectively say it's complete utter garbage gutter garbage and yeah you can say what you want and be like well they don't say that about heather mason there are certain aspects that warrant 
like they're like, okay, we'll accept one woman protagonist, but don't you do that crap again on my watch, not in my games. You know, the stupid loser doom chicken and loser potic you know who i'm talking about i ain't gonna say their names here but this game like i said we get another dude who sucks twist ending you could see a mile away around even act one i i really felt like it was trash it i really felt like it was garbage just the action everything that happens just doesn't fit in the story of silent hill it just doesn't every silent hill tends to have certain creatures that represent the scene represents the mood represent the person that is being purgatoried but like i don't see anything like that in downpour and some people try to fake make little connections to oh this thing that looks exactly like this thing yeah there's multiple baby face looking creatures in silent hill the room but there's also those creatures that look like dogs, but sound like jaguars. There's also ghosts. There's multiple creatures. But in Downpour, there's only like three or four creatures that don't look any different, really. Like there's four main creatures, and those are the four main creatures. Like there's like this witch looking thing that doesn't really do much but swing its arms. I mean, they scream. There's a guy looking thing. There's a big looking thing and then there's a small looking thing and they're just so bland. It's like they're running out of ideas while Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, they have certain creatures that look like they fit in Silent Hill's aesthetic. There's an aesthetic that Downpour just doesn't measure up to. I have the best argument against Downpour. While every other side game I'm coming serve to further explore the lore already established with previous titles, Downpour does not. I'm done talking about Downpour. Now, since we're done with the whole, I'm not even going to talk about Shattered Memories because it's like in an alternate universe sideways. It's basically the same thing. Father loses daughter, tries to find daughter, deals with demons. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I hope you understand that. Don't remember when Shattered Memories came out, but I know that I was a child, little wee one, when I was playing that game. So, now that we're done with that, we can talk about Silent Hill 2006, the movie. It takes place combining the first two games together to make some mishmash of a movie that i have to say the writers kind of knew what they were doing kind of like i said we have to like the the bar and when i tell you the bar is doing plate tectonics right now they are they are in the dirt ground soil bruh they are below our feet below he double hockey stick bruh below heck below heck that's where the bar is. So don't come at me talk about, oh, it's bad because they didn't use Sean Bean or they didn't use a certain thing or the, the freaking nurses weren't as clad or they weren't as bloody as I wanted them to. I liked the nurses. That's one big, humongous reason why I love this movie. <laughs> I love the women-led roles. I feel like the antagonist did a good job. I feel like the girl, oh my goodness, when that girl burnt up, I'm not, like I said, this is not like a review or anything. I'm just going to give you little hints and stuff. I really recommend you just watch the movie. Just watch the movie, okay? I'm not going to give too much spoiler, but I'm just going to give you the foundation so that you can go into it if you're not a Silent Hill fan because I feel like this video is needed because Silent Hill is on people's lips right now. Now, the second movie that they made, I have to talk about the second movie because of what I'm going to talk about in a couple of seconds, is based around the third game with heather mason and it's got Jon snow so if you like Jon snow you're gonna hate this movie because he does not do a very good job at acting he acts like this is his first day on the job like it's crazy but this movie was 10 billion times worse than the first movie i recommend you not watching this movie it's a little unserious it's a little unserious to the point where i can't really watch it they got like the outfits pretty decently but they don't understand the lore of Silent Hill. And I feel like if you're going to make a Silent Hill movie, you should understand the lore. A lot of people had a problem with the fact that Pyramid Head made an appearance here. And he's kind of like called somebody else. And he's also like a, um, a hero, an anti-hero. I don't know what you would call him, but he's not a villain. He's not a villain at all under any circumstance. But 
we are led to believe that the main girl, Heather Mason, is not a hero either. But it's interesting. It's just, it's kind of like they were like, oh, here's the beat, here's the beat, here's the beat, here's the beat. And I think that's the biggest flaw with movies that are from games. An example, I talked about Mortal Kombat. I have a bunch of videos on Mortal Kombat. Link is in the description. You can navigate my Mortal Kombat playlist and see all those lovely videos. But this new, it's like 2021 or whatever movie, Mortal Kombat, literally just watch the originals. Those are way better to me in my personal opinion, even though they're horrible and they don't treat women right at all under any circumstance. They treat them like garbage things, items to be put in mud and to be rolling around in the mud instead of actually fighting with blood. But this was a disgrace. Stop creating characters for nothing, nothing burgers. Stop so that you can put in like insert person from Hollywood. Louis Tang or whatever his name was in that Mortal Kombat movie sucked. She was basically the Alice in Resident Evil. Like, stop doing that. If you're going to make a movie that is based on a video game, stop just putting random dudes here so that we can follow a human. We want to follow Sonic. We don't want to follow a human. So why is this dude talking to Sonic? Get this dude out of here. Get Louis Tang, whatever the crap his name is, and his loser, scrub, good-for-nothing family that should have died. I'm telling you, when I say that Goro should have squished, demolished, Hulk smashed, I don't understand how he didn't kill those two mortals. I don't understand. He should have closed that truck like a beer can on his forehead. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying how strong Goro is. And you can play games and be like, oh, he wasn't that strong in the original. I was like, oh, yeah, they actually use practicalness for Goro. But you guys are using CGI. I expect CGI work. I don't expect Goro to be killed in the face of mortals. He should have killed at least two mortals. And two of those mortals should have been his family, his wife and daughter. I am so sorry if you feel some type of way about that. But that's just how that should have ended. But... I say all this to say about Silent Hill, the original old movies, is because supposedly the same dude that like made those movies, or at least the first one, I think it's just the first one, but maybe he made the second one, I'm not sure. I really do hate the second one. Who, what were you doing? What were you doing, whoever made the second one? What were you doing? Can you please look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, that was bad. Like, Can you admit that? Please, thank you. The dude who made the first movie that I liked, I liked it. I may do a review on it, but not now. I liked it, okay? I liked it. And I think you'll like it too. Give it a chance. Just throw out the window that Sean Bean does anything because he doesn't. Please, if you love Sean Bean, don't watch the movie because you will be disgraced and you will feel sorry about yourself. But I think that dude is making a third movie... And I think if they're going down the line like they did, he's going to be making a movie about The Room. And that could be such a good movie. Oh my goodness. I, I just imagine it now. Please, please, if you're listening, please let me in on this. Please let me in on this. Please let me in on this. Please. I need to be on the payroll. I'm not going to give you my ideas for free. But what I will say is I have so many ideas for how that movie could be great. Please. Please. And if you're not going to get me, please like utilize fans, utilize anybody who knows a lick about Silent Hill. Like I beg of thee, like I really don't understand how people are like, you know what, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this movie and I'm not going to look at any, any of the source material. It's like, I'm not even going to do that. That's not my vision. Well, my vision is something that's not that. So interestingly enough, if it's not that, if it's not Resident Evil, If it's not Silent Hill, if it's not Sonic, if it's not Mario, don't make the movie. And I just put Mario in there just because it is a video game movie. But from what I can tell, the way it looks, and I'm saying the looks for a reason, nothing else about it that I'm going to be putting my seal of approval because I haven't watched it and it's not out yet, from what I know. But from what it looks like, it looks better than the Sonic movie. I gave a lot of grace for the Sonic movie being the closest rendition we got because Sonic, they they fixed Sonic. They actually listened to the fans. 
they fix what they look like. But I'm still going to have to take that back because you just put some random Anglo-Saxon in there and just was like, yeah, I'm sorry. When was this dude idiot in the games? I'm sorry. And then if you want to play games with me and say, oh, it doesn't always have to be exactly Okay, make the sun blue then. Don't just put some random human, some human in a movie about a game that has no humans in it or no humans that look like that at least. I'm not talking about Egbert or whatever. He doesn't look like human. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like he looks like a creature being from that game. He doesn't look like you or I. He doesn't look like the dude that they put in there so that we could follow them and he could drive a car and they could go somewhere. Like, why on earth? Why? Stop. Get some help. Utilize fans. Stop wasting our time. And fans, stop wasting your money. Don't go to something like Mortal Kombat, the movie, and you see Louis Tang. Don't give them your money. Freaking don't. Stop it. Or they're going to do it again. They're like, oh my goodness, this was so profitable. We're going to do that again, but worse. That's what happens every single time. It never fails. If you have capital, which you do because you buy in this crap, don't buy something you are not satisfied with. Don't buy something that is not verbatim. And like I said, things can be different, but don't put something in there that's extremely out of the ordinary. It goes the same with games. If you're going to make a game, are you going to be satisfied with a WWE title and then you turn on your Xbox or PlayStation or PC and you dribble in a basketball? How does that work? And then if someone comes up to you and says, well, they don't owe you nothing. They can do whatever they want with their game. Then you can say, all right, then I am not going to give you my capital then my opinion on silent hills that canceled crap garbage i really do not understand what people thought was good about that demo or whatever we got that was garbage garbage if you thought it was good you don't know silent hill i am a very casual fan of silent hill and i will say that to your face you don't know what silent hill is because if you thought walking around first person in somebody's house that does not look like any type of nothing but nobody nowhere no how was good and you thought that that was something you wanted to see you wanted another game you wanted paranormal activity you wanted something else that was not silent hill what on earth most of the silent hill games you can go outside and oh it's just a demo it could be this that and the other and da 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 Don't give me that crap. Silent Hill's appeal rests mostly with what we've seen overall from the first game to the fourth game. Yes, the fourth game is mostly inside, but it's called The Room for a reason. Silent Hill, The Room. Did you not catch the room part? It's inside. That's one of the only games that I'll accept as being indoors mostly. Don't give me the excuse of it was just a demo. It was a small piece. It was a dumb small piece. If you wanted people to be interested in Silent Hill, you show us Silent Hill. You don't show us inside somebody's household. That's that on that. Silent Hills looked like it was going to suck. It did suck. That's why it was canceled. And I hope it never comes back. All in all, I do like the Silent Hill fan base better. There's going to be toxicity everywhere, but I just feel like there's more gross e-boys on the Resident Evil side than Silent Hill because it actually takes a little bit more brain power to put your mind around what's going on in Silent Hill. And there are tons of people on YouTube who do fantastic videos with all the information you need to know about Silent Hill. This is just my opinion, my take how I see Silent Hill as a very casual fan of of the series. And I wanted to share it with y'all. And there are 1000% some mobile game or whatever, some other console game that I didn't discuss, but I don't care. I'm not like a big old huge fan of Silent Hill. I don't know every single, like I do Kingdom Hearts. Like I do Kingdom Hearts. I do not know Silent Hill like I do Kingdom Hearts and Resident Evil. I'm sorry. So if I missed any, please talk about it in the comments. Please make your own list. Which ones did you like? Which ones were your favorite? Which ones were your least favorite? Do you like Downpour? 
Do you like the room? What are you more excited about? Did you watch the Silent Hill announcements? Did you see that they were leaked like hours before they were supposed to go live anyway? Please let me know. Okay, so all that stuff that you just heard was recorded before the showcase, the Silent Hill showcase. So what you're seeing now, if you look in the description, I actually have timestamps. If you don't want to see all that, if you're caught up on Silent Hill, if you're not, even if you are, I suggest you watch the beginning of this video. But if you are too lazy schmazy and you just want to get down to the business, here you go. There are five things that were discussed at the stupid gosh darn good for nothing showcase. Only one that I actually see any interest in at all. So first off, I'd like to say everybody who looked at me crazy, like they will never remake Silent Hill Town. Oh, that's stupid. Like, well, here you go. Here you go. If it's a real stupid mistake, they're about to make some stupid money. They're about to make some stupid money. While I'm discussing this, I will be showing you what I saw at the showcase and maybe some of the polls to let you know where people are at. I did notice that Heather was like, I think second place next to James. And I think that's a little strange because James really didn't have a personality in my opinion. I feel like everyone else around him had bigger personality, literally, literally. I think everybody else around James was better characters, more layers, more personality. James Sunderland seemed like a nothing burger of a character in the beginning. Literally, li just go play the game. If you don't believe me, play the game. Don't play the remake because they're going to make him different. Maybe. I don't know. It was funny. Speaking of which, the very first thing that they talked about was Silent Hill 2 remake. That's what we were there for. That's what I was there for. So like Silent Hill 2 remake is only going to be an exclusive for PlayStation. Of course, Xbox never gets anything. We've got Dark dreams don't die or something we got that stupid good for nothing garbage that they didn't even care to finish we get no exclusive ever we get no exclusives ever even if they say it's not gonna be on pc all they have to do is mod it on pc they really don't need you if it's not on pc they can do it themselves it's insane xbox can't do nothing by itself what is it doing literally i am going to throw my xbox out the window and i'm gonna get a playstation if this keeps happening, like I said, like, use your capital. The game looks good, but James looks more like the dude from Silent Hill 4. I think his name's Henry. I don't remember. But I think he also was, like, the last person. No one really cares about Henry. But Silent Hill 4 is a controversial uh, Silent Hill because a lot of people don't like it. And I like it, but it's it's trash. It's trash. A lot of people were saying he looked like Leon, which I can totally understand because Leon's the only one that can have that hairstyle, I guess, and be white at the same time, I guess. Everyone always says every white dude looks like Leon when they have that hairstyle. Every time, it never fails. Even if they face look nothing like Leon as Kennedy. But that's what everyone was saying. It was hilarious. It was funny. I like the meme. I love hating on Leon S. Kennedy all the time. But that's basically it for the first thing that happened. The second thing, um, Townfall. What? Silent Hill Townfall? Boring. Had no idea what it was. Is it a movie? Is it a series? I don't know because it wasn't that clear to me personally. It wasn't that clear. I think it's a movie. It looks boring. That was a teaser trailer. At least we got a teaser trailer. At least we got a teaser trailer for that. The next thing that happened, I'll let you know that I was not expecting this dude to play games like this in my face. He played games in our face with this. He's talking about Return to Silent Hill. Oh, I made this. Oh, I, ooh, wee, wee, poo, poo, pee, pee. I got all this respect and humility. But there will be surprises. Like, what? Okay, dude. How hard is it to copy and paste a game for a movie? How hard is it? It seems impossible. Y'all just love to like, oh, wee, wee. I added a little poo, poo to this. Wee, wee. I'm going to add some wee, wee, like... He literally, not literally said that. He not literally said that, bro. Like he might as well said that. He's talking about he changing stuff, but he has respect and he's like, oh, I got all this respect. He's just trying to lay the foundation so that if it's not exactly like it, he could be like, oh, well, I said there was surprises. <laughs> like that's all he had to say. All he had to say was it's not going to be like the games. Stop saying, oh, this is so, oh, it's just like the games. Oh, and then we didn't even get any actual footage from the movie we got footage from the other movies 
See, I know what he, the other movies look like. I just spent like an hour talking about it. I know what the other movies look like. I thought we were going to get like something tangible. I guess it's like announcements. Okay, this is an announcement. This is showcase announcements, right? It doesn't have to be tangible. That's fine, whatever. But don't expect us to be hyped about something we don't know what it looked like. It's just like, oh, I got this great thing. It's in a box. I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition on Twitch. I have the highlights and playthrough on YouTube. Check them out. The playlist is in the description. There's this dude that's selling a box in Dragon Age Inquisition. And he's like, oh, it's like a thousand, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. I'm like, okay, what's in it? And he's like, oh, you don't know. You'll never know unless you buy it. And if you have to ask what's in it, then you can't afford it. It's like, bro, what? What you mean? Scam. It's a scam. I felt a little scammed because we didn't really get much. The only thing we got was Silent Hill 2 Remake. And I already knew that was happening. Y'all think I'm playing. I tell you, I can see the future. So don't be talking about how stupid it is to have a Silent Hill 2 remake when I told you it's set in stone. I told you it's set in stone. I told you that. Verbatim. I said, this is what's happening and y'all try to act like it's stupid. Well, here you go. All those people that are excited about it. That's the thing that everyone's more excited about than anything because we actually got tangible. Like even though that we didn't get no type of gameplay, we got like scenes that may not even be gameplay in fact i think it said on the thing it wasn't but the worst of it all has yet to be spoken about the worst of it all has yet to be spoken about return to silent hill is not going to be silent hill 4 he's in fact going backwards because everyone complained to him about how sean bean wasn't utilized and how they can't stand to see a woman in a man's role get into your place woman back to the kitchen so now we've got to deal with him going backwards, even though you it's too late, Vertebra. You made the first movie. You made the second movie. I think you made the second movie. I don't know if you did. However, whatever, the second movie was made and it was the third game. It should be the fourth game. We should be getting the room. We should be getting the room. Why is it that when I love something so much, I never get to see it? Spyro, that stupid trilogy garbage was disgusting and garbage and it was too bright and I hated it. We don't get any Spyro movies, but we're getting Mario. Like what? Who wants a Mario? Who wants a Mario movie? Who asked? Can can someone please tell me who asked for a Mario movie? Did you really want one? Everyone likes Luigi the freak anyway. Anywho, The fact that he is going backwards to make the new Return to Silent Hill movie into the game Silent Hill 2, which is interesting. They keep monopolizing on Silent Hill 2. They're monopolizing on it. They're monopolizing on it. Let me repeat this one last time. They are monopolizing on Silent Hill 2. What did I tell you before? Before I even watched the showcase, I told y'all that they don't care about Silent Hill 1. No matter what accolades, no matter what they say, they don't give a freak about Silent Hill 1. It's all about Silent Hill 2, baby. And maybe 3. If they can squeeze a little freaking pint of currency from that title, they will. Interesting. Why didn't he just go for Silent Hill for the room? It is such an interesting story. Dude, the soup spoon in the neck, bruh. That's all I have to say. I'm done talking about Return to Silent Hill. We didn't get no trailer, so what's the freaking flipping point? What's the freaking flipping point? Don't tell us about it. Silent Hill Ascension looks like they don't know what Silent Hill is. And it might be multiplayer. Is it an interactive movie? I have no idea. They didn't say it was a game. They didn't say it was a game. They, when I heard that crap, they were like, "Oh, you can." It'll sounds like multiplayer garbage. I would love to play in the world of Silent Hill with multiple people. I would love to. That's kind of cool. But the funny thing is, like I said, they don't know what Silent Hill is. Silent Hill is you are isolated. There are people but they're not with you 24 seven. And it was only up until I think Silent Hill 4 when people started being around you and they weren't even like that after that either. And another thing about people being around you in the Silent Hill games, most of the time, the people who hung around you eventually became hostile towards the protagonist. If you notice Silent Hill 4, the room, 
old dude that was killing people with soup spoons was following you around and he even gave you a doll that if you took you might get a bad ending that was really cool that was a really cool thing but silent hill 3 she talks to the girl and she eventually becomes crazed and she's like a part of the cult and whatnot um silent hill 2 old dude hangs out with that stupid dude that starts shooting at him in the ice locker go off and talk about how we need multiplayer and how we need to experience something with somebody unless there's going to be a way to get corrupted or be haunted or something like that to where we're hostile against the people we're playing with. I don't see how it relates back to Silent Hill at all. Like I said, it's not Silent Hill. Oh, things need to be different. Things need to be different. Call it something else. I really don't know what else to tell you. I'm gonna keep saying that. Silent Hill Ascension is when someone has a lot of money and they don't know what to do with it and they don't know what they're doing. Until I know more about it, that's where I stand. The fifth thing that they brought out here was Silent Hill F. I guess it stands for Freak. What the freak is this? What the F is this? Like, what is this? What are we supposed to get from this? It was a little girl that was running through the few dial streets of Japan, I think. I'm not sure. But that's what I saw. And that's all I have to say. Honestly, that's it. Because what on earth? I The only thing I have to say is Silent Hill 2 Remake. I told y'all, y'all can eat your heart out. Y'all can be mad. Y'all can be sad. I don't care what you can tell your mama about it. You can tell your girlfriend or your wife, all you e-boys who were looking at me and talking about, oh, take that back. No, I will not. No, I will not stop slaying. No, I will not stop telling the future. I am the princess of darkness. All in all, I'm, I'm really done with this. I'm done with this conversation. I love Silent Hill. Tried to stream it. For some reason, Twitch won't let me stream it. I tried to capture it and play it, and then my freaking PC got too hot. It's not strong enough to do that nonsense and capture, do whatever, and then play it. I might not stream it unless the remake comes out and I can play it on my Xbox. But the HD version that everyone says is horrible, the HD collection, I have no idea because I can't play it. And I never played the original. I only know Silent Hill through doing research and playing certain games, but I've never played the original three. I love The Room. The Room is my favorite, even though it sucks. It sucks. Like, we can all admit something sucks and you like it anyway. But he's making that movie. He needs to talk to somebody, somebody, some person that knows what they're doing. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're the dude, if you're the guy, if you're the home slice that made Silent Hill revelations, that stupid good for nothing garbage with Jon Snow in it, you have got to try again. You have got to try again. Go a different route. Close your eyes. Do something different. You have to do something different this time. Or you're going to get the same result. You're going to go, I don't know, you're going to spiral out of control. The first one was a lot better in comparison. But it is nowhere near where it needs to be, in my opinion. It could be better. If you want to know my opinion about Silent Hill, the movie, Silent Hill Revelations, the movie, which is the second movie in that whatever they were trying to do, I think they were trying to do a trilogy, I think. If you want to know my opinion about Resident Evil Village, I have many videos on that subject. Like I said, link is in the description. My Resident Evil playlist is very easy to navigate. This will be my first video on my Silent Hill playlist because like I said, I'm not like the best, the arbiter of Silent Hill. I, I don't have the most knowledge on it. I'm still learning about Silent Hill because I did not have the luxury of sitting all them years ago playing them when I was playing Spyro, I was playing other stuff. But I wish to see Silent Hill succeed. And not only that, but I'm going to be actively trying to make sure it does because I know the worth of my capital and I'm going to use it against Resident Evil and Capcom because they have done one too many things that goes to show they don't care about fans. They don't care about fans. And they have such a toxic fan base that they don't know who to listen to. So I'm going to just slide myself right on over to Silent Hill and I'll see y'all later. I'm done.